Here at Champ Barbecues, today we're cooking up a pork butt on the Weber 26. Oh hell yeah, and we got a new product. Ho ho ho, Uncle Steve. Yeah, he created a new rub, a sweet heat, a sweet and spicy R. Oh hell yeah. So that's going on this pork butt. We're also going to use some Uncle Steve's thick meat as well. So this pork butt was a touch over nine pounds and we seasoned the heck out of it with this Uncle Steve shake and use no binders or nothing. Put that on the Weber 26 with Greg Slohan's basket and the air gap diffuser and we're roaring 300 degrees pretty much. We're going hot and fast. We wrapped once we hit about 157 degrees I believe it was. And uh, we're using butcher paper to wrap. And we started getting some leakage out of that butcher paper because this pork butt was a little too big. Should have used aluminum foil, but I want to try to get some really good bark on this. And I just put it in a pan to, because that fat cap I trimmed down, I did. I trimmed it down pretty damn good. So it was probably eight and a half pound pork butt in the end. So the pork butt is coming up to temp once we hit 204, 205, wherever you want, I'm gonna pull it, I'm gonna leave it wrapped in that pan, and, um, cause it's still got a lot of juices. I cooked it fat cap down. I'm gonna put it in um, one of my grills, just let it rest for about a half hour. Then we're gonna shred it to hell. And then we're gonna put it on a great toasted bun, whatever you like, do you. And then add on whatever barbecue sauce you like, I'm going to use some of this Carolina. I have never tried it, but it looks amazing because I love Carolina Mustard's barbecue sauce. That looks wow. Usually, Carolina Mustard or any Carolina barbecue sauce is runny, vinegary, and uh, I hope it's very vinegary, but it looks thick. Like, usually you can see it moving. 
thick Carolina mustard barbecue sauce? Oh, hell yeah. I'll drink to that. So folks, this pulled pork smells amazing. Seven hours on the Weber 26. We were roaring about 300 degrees the whole time. Wrapped it in butcher's paper and put it in a pan. And it, we hit 205 at the end finally. We let it rest for only 10 minutes, all right? <laughs> let it rest for 10 minutes, that was it. Because it's dinner time. I figured I'd be done in six hours. Check it out. We got that Broswell's Carolina Mustard Barbecue on there. Oh, let's check this out. Uncle Steve's. And we dropped some mustard down there, but I got a barbecue mat down. Oh, well, yeah. Man. that folks boom uncle steve that sweet heat that sweet and spicy r oh hell yeah so subscribe to the beer champ nation hit the thumbs up comment down below and smash that dinner bell because that's what time it is